let's first talk about your swing. How are you feeling out there taking some swings? Are you, the changes you made last year, are you still implementing those? Yes, I am. Um, I feel very good. I feel stronger. Um, you know, I feel like the ball's jumping off the bat more so than it did last year, obviously. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm feeling good and it's uh, going to be fun and good to get out there and get going again, you know, and get your feet wet and um, just get this thing going. And I can imagine you, you can't go into the season expecting what's going to happen per se. And I imagine you didn't understand or know the challenges you were going to have. But what did you learn from those and how can they help you with this season? I mean, I think, you know, towards the end, I really dialed in, you know, what made me good and why I'm good. And, you know, just try to go from there and just keep learning and adjusting. And, um, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, it was a grind last year to say the least, but, um, you know, it's, it's in the past and uh, I'm looking forward to this season. Every year this team has an opportunity to go all the way. Does anything feel different, more this year? Ah, it feels the same as it has, you know, ever since I've been up. It's just we're ready to win, and um, we anticipate going to the World Series every year. Um, and We implement that day one in spring training. So um, great group of guys in this clubhouse. Um, it's fun to be a part of and, uh, like I said, ready to get going on the season. And how does it feel just to be back with all the guys? I mean, you see everyone's faces. It's, it feels real, huh? It feels real. It feels good. Um, you know, group chat was just, well, we're all in different places. Like, what's going on? But, no, we, I think we did a good job of staying in touch throughout it all and, um, you know, got knowledgeable about the situation. And it um, feels really good to be back. How do you have a normal-ish off-season where, you, you know, you're not dealing with surgery and rehab and kind of all those things? Just felt good. Felt normal. Um, you know, body feels really good, scaps feel good. Um, so, you know, I, 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 I needed it, I appreciated the full, full off season and uh, I'm excited for it. So which swing are we going to see? Because we've seen a few different ones. You have, yeah. yeah. Um, no, it's very, it's where I was at in the postseason. I'm spread out, hands where they were. Obviously, I felt very confident in that. Um, just you know, adjustments here and there just to be consistent with it all and um, keep my same approach and, um, you know, just be confident in it and just, you know, excited to get right, it going. Trey, again. just first, how good does it feel to be back? That feels good. Um, get back to schedule, be normal again and um, see the guys and um, get the season going because there's been obviously a lot of talk this off season with the CBA and whatnot, but it's good to be back and playing baseball. What was the focus for you? Were you working on anything in specific during this offseason? No, just being healthy. I um, feel like the last you know few offseasons, I feel like I've put myself in a good spot in the offseason and just trying to do uh, similar things, stay strong, stay healthy, and um, just get ready to, to play you know full 162. With Seager gone, are you looking forward to being true shortstop again this season? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we're going to miss him, but uh, for me individually, I'm you know excited to play shortstop again. Um, Feels so much more normal and natural. I felt, you know, like I was playing left-handed over at second base. But um, it'll be good to, you know, prove um, that I can play it at a, you know, a high level. And I think, uh, you know, that's one of my focuses this spring training is getting those ground balls over there and um, putting in the reps and getting ready for that. Did anything from playing second last year? Did that kind of? Is there anything you kind of used to cross over to shortstop? Can you any takeaways? I guess from it. No, I mean, I only played, I don't know what, 50 games or so, and played the last seven years at short. So, um, you know, I was just trying to do the best I could over there for um, the ball club and, you know, make as many outs for my pitchers like, like I always do. But, uh, like I said, it was just a little awkward, a little weird um, to learn position on the fly. But, um, you know, I feel good back at short and it feels normal, and um, today was fun. Trey, every, a lot was going on, getting traded, moving to a new position. Does this feel a little bit more normal, comfortable? Do you feel like you'll – be better in a better spot starting the season with these guys. Yeah, no, I think uh, routine's always good. Um, yeah, going back, there was a lot of things last year that was, um, you know, a crazy year. And all things considered, I thought it was pretty successful from many many viewpoints. But um, yeah, I think getting a fresh, not a fresh start, but getting a, to start um, here in spring training, and once a, you know, once I get my routine and learn everything, I think that's always. Uh, better for success um, and better for me to contribute um, to the team. So um, I'm excited. Hopefully I don't get traded again this year. That'd be great. Um, and I can stay in one spot and, um, you know, it's going to be a fun year. As far as your contract, how do you approach it this year? And would you be open to talking about an extension or is there is that kind of like, uh, is there a 
where mentally you have to just worry about baseball and not worry about even getting into that? Uh, both. I mean, I, I feel like I compartmentalize. I can um, have a talk if somebody wants to have a talk. Um, if not, I'm, I'm ready to play and ready to uh, go out there and, and do what I've done for the last, you know, however many years. Um, like I said in the past, you know, I'll, I'll have talks, but uh, if they're not going to happen or if they don't or they do, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about, uh, you know, not uh, not stinking today is kind of my motto <laughs> is don't suck today. So, um, you know, I put in the time and um, let those things take care of themselves. I think there was one, like, little phone call before the lockout, but um, nothing of, of, of substance I, or nothing that was really – brought to my attention just um you know conversation between them and my agents but um how are you nothing. feeling i mean surgery is now a little less than a year ago but how are you feeling right now feeling great uh getting back to a good spot uh strengthening my arm getting back to close to normal and in a good spot where would you say you're at right now uh i would say 70 75 percent um back to normal it's but on the ramp up stage so getting close do you have a goal for when you want to be back on the mound uh, well, back on the mound is supposed to be at the start of next month, so um, first week of April. Um, if everything stays smoothly, that's where we'll be. Yeah, everyone's kind of, the estimate time is after All-Star break. Is that kind of a, is there a date on the calendar you're looking at that you have circled? How excited are you for you just to be playing meaningful baseball again? Uh, no circled date yet. Uh, still too far to, to do that. Um, but, yeah, I'm very excited to just be back with the guys. It's exciting to have everybody here and just the camaraderie is back. It's exciting. And what did it mean to you to see Clayton Kershaw re-signing? I was very excited. Um, just having his presence in the locker room is awesome. It's very cool to see. What have you learned from him personally? Uh, just the the gamesmanship and how to carry yourself around the clubhouse and in the in the locker room and in the weight room and just the way he goes about his business day in and day out is pretty phenomenal. Well, just last thing from me, can you just kind of break down what your workouts have looked like at this moment? Kind of just explain whether it's kind of core or what you've been throwing just break it down uh yeah so i'm been, this is my first week of throwing uh six days a week so i've been throwing light on monday heavier on tuesday light wednesday light thursday heavy th heavy friday and then it would be light saturday so working four days or working out four days a week and just getting back in the swing of things to get ready for the season yeah, well, we're excited that you'll be back out there soon thank you yeah.